Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to what's going to be uh, the final few episodes of Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we only have one planet left to go to. We've picked up all the upgrades along the way, and I think it's time we uh, get things moving. Now, obviously we do not have the uh, Rhino yet, the Ripia new one, but uh, I'll be touching on that weapon in the uh, bonus video or bonus videos depending on what exactly I need for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to go to the end of the game uh, with the equipment that we have now. We even have a nice health upgrade where we have up to eight hits now, which is also very well appreciated. And yeah, let's go get on our ship and let's get moving. It's been a bit of a uh, around the world or around the universe adventure here, and we're going to go back to the planet we started on. By going all the way down here to the Kaisel Plateau on Planet Velden. Let's do it, guys. Let's save Ratchet's planet. Here we are, guys. We've made it back. So, um, one thing I guess I should go over is there are three gold bolts here, and there's also one remaining skill point. I don't think uh, these things are going to be as difficult to get as they have been in uh, past levels, though. I feel like uh, they kind of uh, were a little generous this time around, which, you know, I have nothing against that. I am very much okay with generosity, especially since we are... Um, technically at the end game here. Uh, the skill point, uh, we need to kill ten soldiers using your wrench. And what they mean by soldiers is they don't mean just like normal grunt enemies like this. Um, there's basically, and we saw a couple of these soldiers before, um, on the planet, I think, Kalibo 3? Yeah, Kalibo 3. They're kind of the, like, flying, hovering soldiers. Uh, that guy. That guy right there. That's what we're looking for. And, uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to kill them with your wrench. Do not kill them with any other weapon. You just need your wrench. And you don't have to do this all in one life, either. You can actually kind of manipulate this. So, for example, what you could do is, since you have two soldiers right here at the beginning, pretty much, one thing you could do... After you kill the two soldiers, jump down here, get rid of one of your lives, you start back at the ship, and all the enemies respawn. So you can kind of do this as a way to uh, speed up this particular skill point. And uh, I think I am going to be doing this really quick, so I'm going to cut until I get the last kill. And yeah, I will uh, be right back, guys. And there we go, we got the skill point, so... Yeah, not, not very hard to do. Very uh, simple to do, actually. And with that, um, we can actually continue our game now. So let's go ahead and keep things moving. Uh, we do have more soldiers to deal with along the way, so we do have to be careful about that. But keep in mind, we do have the health upgrade, which should theoretically make things a lot easier for us. We can, you know, again, take more hits. If we have to restart, I don't think we'll, uh, if we, we can get far enough to the point where we can reach the next uh, spawn point. So yeah, it, it'll definitely be easier. I'm not going to say it'll be like a walk in the park or anything, but, you know, we do have a lot of tools at our disposal. We can also use nice, uh... Uh, health and ammo crates to restore on things as well. So, you know, I, I feel good about this for the most part. I feel good about it. So we do have something to worry about here. Oh, shoot. There we go. 
Oh, I'm out of Devastator ammo? Holy crap. <laughs> I was admittedly not thinking about that. Also, shoot, can you stop? Okay, there we go. And I w went the wrong way. Whoops. Get rid of this damn thing. Looks like we have a tank as well. Oh, God. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, kill this tank as well. That is okay with me. That's what the Visibomb's used for. Use it to uh, get rid of those huge ships that are in your way that could uh, cause you problems down the road. Let's see. Don't need the Visibomb for these guys, though. Although, hold on. I don't need them for these guys, but they would be helpful if they're going to be a whole bunch of them in one area. Do I have a better weapon I could use? Um, I, again, I wish I had Devastator ammo. <laughs> I, I'm almost out of Tesla Claw ammo, too. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's do this. Bomb again. Boom. Oh, and I have one of these guys too. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy as well. Of course, now I am out of Visibomb ammo, but there is one thing I can do. I do have that PDA where I can use to uh, deliver ammo if I need ammo really badly. There is such a thing as using your resources effectively, and that is one thing you can do here. What do we got down here? Oh, okay, looks like we have... Haven't, haven't done one of these for a while. But we can actually have to use the uh, trespasser here. Okay, let's do this. So we have two lasers here. Okay, can't use those, I think. Okay, so I see two possible places where I could use those. I feel like one of the lasers is going to be a dud. <laughs> oh no, shoot. Wrong one. I thought I had that right there. <laughs> there we go. Got it. That wasn't actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, funnily enough. Okay. Wow, and much like uh, much like you'd expect an end game planet to be, it's gonna require us to use all of our tools to get through it. Which, that does not bother me in the slightest bit. I love when the uh, final levels are all, you know, comprehensive tests of everything you've learned throughout the game. I feel like that's, like, the best way to do them, because, you know, you've been through a long journey. There's a lot of things you can do and interact with. It just makes sense to, for things to be in that fashion. Also, here is a uh, Gadgetron vendor. We could technically use that here. Um, here's the question though, do I need to use this, or do I need to go down first? I'm assuming we have to get rid of the water first. That's fine. Hello. I used the wrong button. There we go. Oh, goody. <laughs> Not sure if I'm crazy about the enemies we have in here. 
Oh, I got the Devastator at least. Not gonna complain about free Devastator ammo. Oh, come on! Looks like he's still firing at me though, so this could be problematic. Okay, good. And use the Visibomb for this tank. Boy, looks like we have a pretty rough journey ahead of us though. <laughs> I don't see a lot of health crates either. Oh, <laughs> and of course, I slip off the platform. <laughs> Thankfully, though, we do have this, so I don't have to backtrack too far. Okay, so I actually went ahead and uh, bought ammo for uh, my Visibomb gun and the Devastator, just because I really need it for this part, I found. So I went ahead and just uh, broke and bought ammo for it. It just made sense to. I don't exactly have a lot of ammo for this part, and it's something I need, so I figured, what's the harm? Although now I'm going to get picked off by these guys, which is not cool. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Ugh, oh my god. I just don't have like a lot of ammo for all the stuff I really need and use. <laughs> That's kind of what this is boiling down to at this point. Cause I'm like I'm almost out of Devastator ammo again already, which is just not good. I'm just taking a lot of damage too already, which I'm not happy with, because again, those checkpoints I need could be anywhere. Okay, next I have this. And that's also not good when you almost fall off a freaking platform. Okay, I'm making it places. Let's see if I can maybe take advantage of this. Yes, got both of them. See, that, that's definitely nice when that happens. You can kind of use one Visibomb ammo to take care of uh, multiple guys.
just doesn't always happen that way because they kind of hide and stay away from each other. Okay, I did that. Devastator! Love to see that. I believe... Okay, yes, I want to go this way. I want to say this is a way to a gold bolt. Yes, it is. See what I mean? Hello. You know, I think I actually missed a uh, another gold bolt back the other way. I might want to go back and grab that now that I think about it. I actually see it over there. See, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for that electric fence. It's also good because I don't have to worry about going over to where that one soldier unit is either. And I might need to get rid of him just in case. He is kind of just like right there. So anyway, you see this uh, this force field here. You also see that guy behind it. We're gonna get the taunter. And he will disable the force field for us. We go through here, and then we get the gold bolt. Okay, so we got that. I'm not sure, again, how we're doing for time, but... You know, this is going to be kind of the finale section of the game, so... There'll probably be uh, a longer video in one of these. Life kind of flashed before my eyes right there because my controller uh, control stick was kind of sticking right there. So I was like, oh no, am I going to have to die and do all this again? I hope not. Also, I'll go ahead and say, screw this thing right, this jump right here. My, uh, I had an attempt where I just didn't make that jump for some reason, so that's a very scary jump. Not a fan of that jump. Looks like I'm not a fan of these guys either. Could be worse, but they could also be better. <laughs> I think that kind of goes without saying. Can I actually use the taunter again? Um, let's see if I can do that. Okay, nope, that doesn't work. Um, see, like, I have nothing. I have, like, no weapons right now. Except for my go-to. I could try to go to other weapons, but, eh. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right. Trespasser. Okay, so we have five things we have to do. We'll do that first. There we go. Whew! Oh god! You guys were waiting for me there, weren't you? I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Seems like we have water. Not ready for that. This 
seems like a good place to kind of use the metal detector for bolts, though, interestingly enough. Have more Devastator ammo, which is pretty good. Perfect. Is that a tank I see? I can't really tell. It's not a tank, but that is a other thing I need to destroy. If I will aim in the right direction, because inverted controls. I have no excuse to be getting that wrong, though, because I set the inverted controls with that in mind. I'm so used to that from other games, I shouldn't be forgetting that. Also... No! I'm so angry right now. So angry. I think that's going to do it for that episode of Ratchet and Clank. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.